Hello civil engineers welcome back to new video In this video we will see about the design of folded type staircase you can say tread tread riser tread type of staircase okay so here uh, is the plan of this staircase the width of this staircase the width of the landing is 1500 mm 1.5 meter the length of the riser length of the flight is 1.65 meter okay this is the section of section here i have cut this section you can see over here okay and supporting width is 230 mm now riser i have considered over here 150 mm and tread 275 mm live load i have considered from according to the 875 part 2 5 kN per meter square okay now m20 grade of concrete and fe 415 here you can see width of the flight this width of the flight is equals to width of the landing here we have a width of the flight 1.5 meter okay now we need to find the effective length l is equals to 0.115 this half of supporting beam plus 1.5 plus 1.65 plus 1.5 plus half of supporting beam okay so here we will get the length is 4.88 meter okay now thickness of riser and thread of slab thickness of riser and thread thread of slab okay see this is the uh, this is the riser this is the thread this slab thickness of this slab we need to find thickness of this slab is equals to l by 25 why l by 25 here uh, according to the is 456 the effect to de depth ratio we need to consider for simply supported beam l by 20 okay l by 20 so here we have both side uh, we have a landing okay both both portions we have a landing so that's why we are considering l by depth ratio is 25 l by depth ratio is 25 okay so here slab is equal, uh, l, this is thickness is equals to l by 25 uh, l is 4880 divided by 25 will get the effect to depth 195 mm okay 195 mm this is the effective depth now you can adopt this depth as a 175 mm okay it will be changed maybe it will be changed again okay according to the required depth okay it will be changed now i have ad adopted 175 mm okay now overall depth is 200 mm overall depth is 200 mm i have assumed okay now load on going this is the going this is the going on this on this portion load on going self weight of thread riser slab per step this self weight of thread riser slab okay uh, riser is 0.15 150 mm plus thread is 0.275 uh, 275 mm into thickness of slab into this high this riser this thread into thickness of slab this is the area we will get the area into 25 density of concrete okay we will get the 2.125 kN this is live load uh, what this is the sulfate of uh, thread riser slab okay now live load we have considered 5 kN per meter square now dead load of steps per meter dead load of steps as per meter okay 2.125 this is the sulfate of this slab 2.125 for per meter we are taking 1000 mm okay divided by this 275 will get 7.72 kN per meter square this is the dead load of step okay this is the dead load of steps per meter length okay now weight of finishes i have consider over here 0.6 kN per meter square it is according to your material and total load with including factor load will get 20 kN per meter square okay 20 kN per meter square including the factored okay now now we need to calculate load on landing slab we need to calculate what load on landing slab the thickness of uh, slab is 200 mm the thickness of slab is we have consider we have assumed 2 200 mm 
Now sulfate of the landing slab is 0.2 into 25 density 5 kN per meter square finishes 0.6 live load 5 kN total load 10.6 okay now here factor will be factored load will be 16 kN per meter square okay got it now now 50% of the load may be assumed to be longitudinally in the direction of span okay 50% of the load may be assumed to be longitudinally in the direction of span this one this one in the direction of span okay 50% here we need to consider so here 0 0.2 0 0.5 50% means 0 0.5 0 0.5 into 16 this load this load 0 0.5 into 16 that 8 kN per meter square okay here this is the landing portion this is the flight portion and again this is the landing portion here 8 udl 8 kN per meter square 28 okay again here we need to find the reaction over here ra value ra is equals to 8 into 1 point ra is equals to this one load into length okay both side if you calculate both side it you will get this same value okay so plus 20 into 1.6 pi divided by 2 will get ra is 29.42 this is the simple calculation of reaction okay now maximum design moment at mid span of tread riser now we need to find the maximum moment at the mid span mid span okay uh, mu is equals to 29 point this one 29.42 into up to here up to here is 2.4 2.44 1 1.615 plus half of 1.65 okay you will get 2.44 over here up to here minus 8 into 1.65 into half of this length 1.615 okay we'll get mu is equals to 43.9 kilonewton meter okay now we need to find the maximum bending moment at the landing at the landing okay now now we need to find the maximum bending moment at the landing okay now mu is equals to same r is r a 29.42 into this length 1.615 minus this 8 into 1.615 into half of this length half of this length we need to find this maximum bending moment we'll get 37.08 kilo newton meter okay this is the maximum bending moment for uh, uh, flight and this is the maximum bending moment for uh, what landing now we need to find the effect to depth required for uh, required to resist the maximum bending moment okay now d is equals to mu divided by 0.138 fck into b okay root under root now 43 43 into 43.90 into 10 raised to the power 6 you put the value we will get the answer okay 126 mm now we have assumed 175 mm thickness effect to depth we have assumed over here 175 mm effect to depth here we are required uh, depth we are getting 126 you can you can decrease you can reduce this depth okay you can reduce up to 150 mm okay you can reduce this uh, effect to depth uh, adopted the effect to depth up to 150 mm okay because our required uh, depth is 125 mm you can take up to 150 mm okay that is also okay now i'll take same depth okay now we'll go with same depth here hence okay provided depth is okay okay now we need to find the reinforcement uh, this is the formula for reinforcement okay m is equals to 0.87 fy astd 1 minus 5 fy astd divided by b into d fck okay put the values okay put the all values fck and all okay uh, we'll get ast 77.63 mm square this is per meter this is what per meter now i'll provide 12 mm die off bar at 140 mm center to center in the form of closed th ties in the form of closed ties and distribution bar of 8 mm will 8 mm die off bar transversely at each bend of the ties will take okay uh, the these are the straight bars these are the main bars and these are the distribution bars you can say transversely uh, closed ties okay now design of landing this is for flight this is uh, now design of landing uh, so landing the design of landing the landing maximum bending moment we have calculated over there 37.08 into 10 to the power 6 uh, put all values in this formula 
विल गेट ए एस टी सिक्स थर्टी फोर ओके विल गेट ए एस टी सिक्स थर्टी फोर एम एम स्क्वायर नो प्रोवाइड ट्वेल्व एम एम डे ऑफ बार एट वन सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम सेंटर टू सेंटर इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ स्पैन ऑल्सो इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस वन स्पैन ऑल्सो ऑल्सो इन द ट्रांसफर्स डायरेक्शन इन द वॉट ट्रांसफर्स डायरेक्शन ओके एंड दिस इज द रि इन्फोर्समेंट डिटेलिंग ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ स्टेयर केस ओके हियर वी हैव दीज आर दी ट्वेल्व एम एम डाई ऑफ बार दीज आर दी ट्वेल्व एम एम डाई ऑफ बार ट्वेल्व एम एम डाई ऑफ बार एंड दीज आर दी एट एम एम डाई ऑफ बार एट ईच बैंड ओके एट ईच बैंड ओके द थिकनेस इज टू हंड्रेड एम एम एंड यू कैन टेक दिस थिकनेस यू कैन रेड्यूज इंस्टेड ऑफ टू हंड्रेड यू कैन टेक वन सेवेंटी फाइव एम also okay so like this we can detail the this type of uh, stair case okay this is the calculation you can see and read okay okay thank you very much